Uh, my name is uh, Kate Millay. I am an assistant professor here at the College of Charleston in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. And today we are going to be using our flame atomic absorbance spectrometer to observe some different colors of elements that, uh, that they produce whenever they're heated in the flame. And so what we'll see is that different elements are going to produce different colors. And this is the same um, way that different fireworks produce different colors. So in the heat of the explosion in a firework, you get the same sort of thing that we are going to uh, observe today. So first we are going to do um, lithium, which produces a really nice bright pink flame. Um, and so you can kind of get a, a sense of that color. You can see that nice bright pink color that, uh, that we can get from the lithium. The next element that we are going to be uh, looking at produces a similar color, but it's a different element. It's a strontium. So you can see that is more of like a, a reddish color and strontium is more commonly used in fireworks. The next element we are going to do is sodium. So sodium is commonly uh, used in fireworks. This produces a yellow color. Uh, sodium uh, lamps were historically used um, in some places as street lamps. And then I think this is my favorite of all of these, and this is potassium. Uh, potassium is going to produce a purple color once it gets to the flame. And so you can see a nice, cool uh, purple color uh, can be produced from potassium. I believe what they actually do is do some sort of mixture of different elements to get purple in fireworks, but you could see you could get it from just one single element alone. And that is the chemistry that's responsible for the beautiful colors that we enjoy every year at the 4th of July. But just like uh, here in the lab with fireworks, there's always a danger. So you want to make sure that you're always um, operating safely. So it's best to leave fireworks to the professionals and enjoy them from afar. Uh, and so I hope you all have a very safe and happy 4th of July.